piece on my keyboard for now. Uh, because the mouse can look at my whole computer, so I really don't want to use it a lot. And then perhaps I am controlling, uh, Skyrim with the, uh, controller right now because of the mouse issues. But, uh, if you want to know that come out the commands, I think it's the commands are open for everyone to enter. There's a link to the commands as well. Anyway, I showered and shaved as best as I could. I lost my shaving cream, but uh, for this event, so that I can have my face cam on. And what am I waiting for? It's time to get started. Okay. Wait. Something's happening. I may actually have to deactivate one of my mods because it's interfering with the startup. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, it will be right back. Let's open the mod manager. Somehow that mod, uh, one of the mods, it is. Let's run that mod quickly. That will happen when you don't have time to test the load order. I had to put this load order together in a rush. So uh, let me just, uh, there it is. There's the mod in question, and from now, let's deactivate it. Okay. Let's close the mod manager. Go back into Steam. Hit play. And 
Let's turn and load up for a second. And there we go. <coughs> yeah, well, uh, today's stream required a certain number of mods that, and so I knew almost everything that I wanted in load order for today, but uh, I had very little time to test it out. I remember that one mod was taking so long to install that I was afraid I was not going to get started on time. It was just taking a very long time. The only testing I did was to make sure that I could get into Skyrim. I didn't have to go into a game or play anything or anything like that. I just said, okay, will Skyrim run? And um, I'm just going to let it sit, sit and load. It may take a while. I'm not going to worry about it. In the meantime, I may uh, put on some more music. Let's see. Never mind, something just happened. <coughs> Okay. Yes. For some reason, that other mod got in the way. The music is not necessary. And here is some of my mods. I have a whole bunch of them. And there are some of them I'm going to set up before we go in. You don't care, I'm gonna sit so high. You know what? I can just ignore this, so never mind. What I want to do is I want to set these. What I want to do is I want to set the vampire attacks to level one.
I don't care about this. This guy is. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. But this, I just. I guess I'll send that to one also. This is not the scary, uh... Nothing really... Okay, that's weird. Some of these I'll have to wait until I get into the game. Um... Especially this mod. This mod is a, uh... Is a zombie horde mod. I'll wait later on until I'm uh, ready for it. I wonder why that other mods have had a problem. Oh, I do want to set up. Let's make sure that. <sighs> I what did I uh, use? Oh right, okay, that's that's what I think I used for it. Let's get into the game. Uh. Now I am using a mod called Dead is Dead, because without the fear of death, I mean, uh, without the fear of death and death not being permanent, there's not real fear of death, I guess. And so basically, if I die, I'll have a uh, Skyrim screen come on. That's like from the trailer and the song of Silent Guard. Uh, that's in the game. And then it will kick me out to the main menu, I think, or out of the game entirely. And they, I don't know which one will happen. And then a log will be written that's saying this character died at this particular time. At this location from this enemy. And, uh, yeah, so, in order to make death more meaningful, to be really scared of death, I had to make it permanent. And that's why I'm using the Dead is Dead mod. So, I may be restarting many times. Um, uh, I don't, the character name doesn't matter. But uh, what do I want to my first character to be now? Am I ca- The not, one thing is for sure. My character is not going to be a Dragonborn. Dragons are still going to occur. And if we look... 